But let's start with the fact that we did just get these first uh, results from Coinbase as a publicly traded company, seen very much uh, as a proxy, at least from an equity standpoint, uh, for the broad cryptocurrency market right now. Your takeaway? Yeah, the, the parallel that we like to draw, because we spent most of our careers in network effect companies, we like to call it N of one. So broader internet, Google, Facebook, Yahoo. You draw that same parallel and say, okay, great, where's Coinbase today and how is it starting? So they have about 50, uh, roughly about 50 million users that are starting to use it, uh, about 6 million MTU, so monthly transacting users. And so if you think about what the global population looks like here in the United States, Southeast Asia, Latin America, um, you have massive growth to get to about 780 million to about a billion people using this um, and with monthly transacting users. So you have a 10x to 50x to 100x proposition over the next, I'd call it three to five to 10 years, especially since it's all super linear exponential growth. So given that fact, I, I mean, I know you've invested in Coinbase and other crypto platforms in the past. You've made a very sizable, I think, $120 million investment into Kraken, which is a close competitor to Coinbase, and, and uh, you're, on, you're on the board there as well. How do you decide, given the fact that this landscape is really just exploding and there's so many different ways to, as an investor, potentially play it right now and not a lot of regulation to go with it necessarily either, how do you decide where to put your money to work? You know, the... You could have asked the same question about social networking, the internet, but I think we, the way we'd like to think about what's happening across the board with Bitcoin alternative currencies is that Visa was an, uh, a network that we thought about from hardware, eventually became more software. And you have edges and nodes of how that connected people. And if you think about currency as a uh, network of how people connect through goods and services, how large is that and where do you put it? So the early inner, uh, uh, innings of the internet was Amazon, Google, eventually Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And so while we think about Coinbase or Kraken or FTX or any of these uh, decentralized or centralized exchanges, how large are they going to be? How proliferated are they going to be in our everyday lives? Um, and, how, uh, and where should you be putting your capital? In some senses, I would say you should be putting in your capital or investing in some of these protocols um, across the board, anything that has traction. And so we think about gross demand. We have more data than anyone else in the world for private and public companies. And so when you think about an open world, open protocol, programmable and upgradable, where would you put your capital? It's going to be anything that's gross demand that's towards the future, payments, rails, settlements, et cetera. Hey, Arjun, you know, we keep uh, our eyes peeled for any news about uh, a, a big bank uh, establishing a new trading desk, uh, creating new instruments, ETFs. How critical is that, do you think, for the, the broader crypto population? And where would you look for it to happen first? W with what, which big player? Yeah, I think the, the way to think about it is you have uh, everyday people bottoms up retail. And then you have institutions that are starting to adopt this. Um, and so when you have uh, flows of capital all over the world starting to adopt different alternative coins, Bitcoin, and the liquidity that comes through that system, uh, tokenization of securities and assets, who are all the people that are going to play with it? And so I think you're going to look at every major bank, and you're going to look at every major company, and you're going to look at every uh, uh, major technology company that's uh, thinking about revolutionizing or staying current with their customer base. They're all going to use it. So I wouldn't name any names, but I think you, you look at every Fortune 500 company, they're all thinking, what do I think about blockchain? What do I think about crypto? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.